Hey, what's up guys? Teach Me Grappling. Brian Peterson here. <clears throat> but tonight, the reason I'm doing this little uh, opening for you is just to introduce you to Vlad Kulikov. Uh, Vlad's got an awesome uh, game of grappling. Uh, again, originally a uh, Sambo player that's also learned Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kind of like myself. I'm a wrestler that went into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And um, he's got an outstanding game. He and I really jive well because we we kind of share both the, the the wrestling or sambo side, and then mixing it in with jujitsu. We believe in a lot of a lot of pressure, you know, a lot of like understanding of a well rounded game of takedowns, groundwork, leg locks. It doesn't matter. So um, he's such a good instructor, and uh, I'm sure you're gonna see in in what he's gonna show you what he's about to show you is uh, definitely advanced. It's not something we would show like a first day beginner. But for those of you guys that are really good at leg locks and you guys already understand leg lock positions, you guys got to check the, check out this foot bar. Um, he is something he's kind of stumbled upon and I'm interested. I'm going to be checking this out myself. So I'm a student just like you guys. I'm going to be learning from Vlad just like you. And uh, without further delay, here's Vlad Kulikov. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, take it easy. Hey guys, Vlad Kulikov here with Kulikov Grappling Academy, home of Sambo and Jiu Jitsu Fusion, my trusted Uki band today. Brian Peterson, subscribe to this channel. Brian, thank you very much for uh, letting me share my expertise. Uh, I like how we collab and, and, and jive together, you know, like two minds together. So listen guys, uh, Brian posted a video some time ago, I would say maybe two years ago, and he called it Paduko Lock. Uh, maybe I mispronounced, I apologize, right? Uh, so in reality, what the submission was, it was a foot bar. It's a very unique uh, submission or uh, uh, type of submission rather, uh, used in sambo. It's not used very often, but it does exist, right? And what it is, it's a hyper extension of the foot. Benny, would you sit down please? All right, so however we do, there's many setups in sambo, and like I said, you don't see it too often, but it exists. So basically, it's a hyper extension of the foot, right? It's not Achilles, it's not a toe hold or heel hook, it's a straight hyper extension, right guys? And uh, I kind of came across this one uh, by, by accident, so to speak, right? Uh, many ways uh, you can apply it, and uh, the best way I found in two positions, either 50-50 or uh, honey hole, aka saddle, aka uh, inside San Capo, and whatever, right guys? So I I'm gonna bypass how to get to the position if you want. It could be a whole another video, but the position is here, right guys? Right here. Oh, 411 is another name. So very commonly, Benji, straighten leg out. Very commonly, people uh, in sub only go for the heel. Oh, and by the way, it's not here land. We just filmed it after class, so you know, it was a key practice. So very often people go for uh, this in inside heel hook right here. But common defense for Ben is to cross his ankles, just like that, right guys? So uh, uh, very often one of the uh, methods to expose this heel is to clear this leg all together, right? You grab that leg, you kind of lean back, and once I clear it on the side, now uh, there is no opposition for me to snatch uh, this heel hook. And like I said, it happened completely accidental. And the same could be done for 50-50, right guys? If we play 50-50, like such, I would like to do the same thing. Hip out a little bit, dive under, clear this leg, and expose the heel. So uh, it does not matter. The power sources and execution will be identical. All right guys, so what happened when I was playing, as I under, it was crossed over, I hooked, I started to clear, and this foot kind of got stuck on my neck. And I'm like, let, let, me, let, me, let me play around. All right, guys, and uh, so uh, here it is. <coughs> and that was the very first execution, okay? So uh, my face, very important, guys, I want to lace, uh, put his foot, his instep, on my cheek, on my jowl here, as opposed to my neck. Because if I put it on my neck, I'm half strangling myself, right? And if the match is in the territory of uh, uh, cardio or whatnot, if I'm already breathing heavy, and if the uh, oxygen demand is here, I'm choking myself, all right? So make sure you tilt, and his foot is in your left cheekbone, right? Just like this. Remember this thumb in, not like this, like this, right here. Also, lever. Sometimes I teach this technique and people don't get it. And a common mistake that the lever is insufficient, right? So what happens, they kind of put the, uh, the shoelace part on their chin, right here. And there's no hyperextension. At best, maybe a little bit of a pressure, right? So remember guys, if you open the door, you go by the hinges or the handle. You just answer it, right? I hope it's not the hinges. 
So if I put this right here, it's uh, like opening the door by the hinges, very inefficient. So I want to slide and I want to catch him, not on his toes, right guys? If my prop is against the toes, it will slip off. So my prop, my jaw, is going to be somewhere right on Vance Tattoo. That's actually a perfect one, right guys? Right here. Not here, where lever is non-existent. Not here, where will slip. My prop is right here. And further, as I was playing with this move, I adapted, uh, or adjusted rather, a grip as well. I'll do knee bar same way. So watch guys. I started with the gable. We can switch to a uh, uh, rear naked grip. I'm going to grab this heel, cup it nice and deep, right? Like I'm grabbing something important. Gold, right? And then, so what I do, this arm, my left arm, is responsible for actual hyperextension. I apply pressure inward, giving him hyperextension of the foot, the foot bar, right? And this one, this little choke up, right? The choke it up action, it actually rotates his foot in a perfect position to be hyperextended. It locks it in, because if Benny can wiggle his toes a little bit, he can realign his leg and kind of like dose the effort and, and hide one spot and fight the other spot. But if I lock it like this, there's no hiding and there's no finding no easy spots, okay? And it also did all like a, like a little heel hook action too, right? Once I put on this heel, right? So I got here, boom, we're here. I start opening, boom, boom, boom. And now I pull and check it out. I like it tap, right there. All right guys, try it out. Let me know what you think.